Okay. How are we doing? Good to go. All right. How are you guys? Good? Dang. What's going on? We are part of the Second Seven Foundation. Um, we promote literacy throughout Columbus, Ohio. We went to Ohio State. So we partnered with Ohio State with their athletes, their student athletes, to visit schools every Thursday and Friday and read books. This is our third book, The Hog Mollies and the Zooming Zackelzoit. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about the importance of reading, but also talk about the importance of understanding what you read, right? Because you can just read a bunch of words, but if they don't make any sense and you can't remember, that doesn't really work that good, right? Mm -hmm. The hog mollies and the zooming zackalzoid. I'm bored, said Harley. What should we do? Hey, let's see what's new at High Street Toys, Duke suggested. Once inside, the hog mollies ran their separate ways. Duke went straight for the cars. Harley, the model trains. Hoppy, the marbles. Sprout the building blocks. <coughs> then all at once the hog mollies looked up and noticed the greatest toy ever. Wow, said Harley, it's even cooler than I imagined. How much does it cost, Sprout wondered. Five dollars, Duke answered. That's way too much for me, but maybe if we combine our money we could buy one to share, Hoppy said. Let's head back to the clubhouse and count what we have. The hog mollies eagerly reached for their clubhouse savings. They dumped out their jars and began counting their piles. One dollar here, exclaimed Sprout. One dollar here, Duke echoed. Me too, Hoppy said. And I have one dollar too, said Harley. That means we are short one dollar. Not enough for the zooming zackalzoit, groaned Sprout. That night, the hog mollies couldn't escape their disappointment. The next day, the hog mollies shared their similar dreams of the zooming zackalzoit. I guess we have to keep saving, Duke said. Someday we'll have enough. As they walked along, they saw it. A crisp one dollar bill on the sidewalk in front of them. Now we have five dollars, Duke said excitedly. Let's head to the toy store to buy the zooming zackalzoit. Wait, look, interrupted Harley. The dollar was right in front of this house. Grumpy Gus lives here. Should we see if it belongs to him? The hog mollies huddled together with a shiver. They never wanted to go near his house. Finally, Sprout spoke up. Let's just keep the dollar. We can get the toy and Grumpy Gus will never know. Harley shook his head. No, guys, it's not our dollar to spend. We have to ask Gus if it belongs to him. Okay, Harley, then you go ask him, said Hoppy. I'm not going anywhere near that front door. How about we all go together, Duke suggested. Um, excuse me, Mr. Gus, sir, um, we found this dollar outside and, well, we're wondering if it belonged to you, Harley stammered. And just as quickly as he opened the door, Grumpy Gus snatched the dollar and slammed the door in their faces. The hog mollies ran from the front door, heads hanging low. They made it to their clubhouse quarters. Why did you make us do that, Hoppy snapped at Harley. Now we'll never have enough money for the zooming zackalzoit. Yeah, Duke added. And Grumpy Gus didn't even thank us for returning his money. Just as Harley was about to explain, there was a loud knock at the door. The hog mollies rushed to answer and found a surprise, a huge surprise. Together they carried the box inside and began opening it. The hog mollies could not believe their eyes. What do we think was in there? Okay, let's go. Let's see. The zooming zackalzoid. And look, Harley exclaimed, there's a note. Dear Harley, Sprout, Hoppy, and Duke. I am the owner of High Street Toys, and I saw you in my store the other day. I know how much you wanted the Zooming Zackalzoit. You were all so nice to return my missing dollar that I decided to thank you for doing the right thing, even when it wasn't easy. I am very proud of you. Enjoy the toy. Grumpy Gus. 
As they passed the toy store the next day, the hog mollies noticed Gus in the window and stopped to wave and smile. See, guys, Harley said with a wink, aren't you glad we did the right thing? The end. <laughs>